Hi, you're watching Avenue X, where junkie and good storytelling shares our thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. For my longtime viewer, you probably still remember there was a series of videos on specific actors or actresses, and it has been quite a long time since I made my last video in that series due to the extreme volatile situation of Chinese entertainment business last year. It may come back one day, but right now I'm putting it on hold in case I jinx people, basically. Still today, I want to make a video, not on a specific drama, but on actors and actresses, about the really interesting varieties of backgrounds before they become actors and actresses. As I'm recording this video, I realize it's getting way too long, so let me cut it into two and then put it into part one and part two. This is the part one of this video. We will start with actors and actresses who have backgrounds in sports, because right now is Winter Olympics. Cannot be more fitting. In my specific video about the actor Ren Jialun, Alan Ren, I did talk about he was a table tennis professional player before he became an actor. That probably would be the first person comes to your mind if you watch mostly young audience oriented dramas. There are two middle age range actresses, both coming from national level team previously. One is actress Zuo Xiaoqing, if you've watched last year's Shang Yang Fu, or an earlier well received drama. Zhan Changsha, The Battle of Changsha, where she plays the sister of Yang Zi. She used to belong to the national team of Chinese rhythmic gymnastics, but she didn't come to the top of the team and decided to go on the acting route. Then the other actress is Tao Hong, very active in drama in film, married to Xu Zheng. Tao Hong used to be a member of the national team of Chinese artistic swimming, a tough sport and in water. Isn't that interesting that she got famous by playing a role in a television series who is the mythological ocean ruler's daughter. There's an even older and still active today, rather handsome looking actor, Hu Bing, who probably for my audiences, the most familiar role for you would be his iteration of Zhao Liying's father in The Legend of Fei. There was a time that he was super popular in China when he was much younger. He has a very colorful portfolio. Before he got into acting, he was a rowing athlete. Also, he was a professional model for quite a long time. And it's not hard to see why he's a professional model with that chiseled look and the height and proportion. Everything is just perfect for being a model. Talking about models, actually, there are many, many Chinese actress actors working today who come from modeling. And this is a huge category. Not gonna mention every name I know. Some best known people working today, for example, Hu Yitian, for example, Xu Kai, for example, Gong Jun. Apart from sports and modeling, there's another category of backgrounds for actors and actresses that probably consists of the most amount of people we're gonna mention today. Plus, in reality, if you look at the successful, well-known actor, actresses of all age range, seven, eight out of 10 have training in this type of background. That will be the art of music, and dance, particularly in dance. First, let's talk about music. I'm gonna talk about three people that are all very well known to my audiences. I'm sure of that. Starting with the oldest among them, Huang Xuan. He probably should be categorized as having the dance background before going into acting, but he did graduate from the musical major. When he was younger, he learned dancing professionally for many years. In his middle school, he actually went to a professional dance school in Guangdong. Then he got to Beijing and got enrolled in Beiwu. We're gonna talk about this school later. It's one of the most prominent dancing schools in China. And the major of his in that school is musical. So he can sing, he can dance, he can sing and dance. Although if you look at all the films and televisions he's done, for his roles, he hardly ever needs to do singing and dancing. The years of physical training still shows through, particularly when he starts fighting. We see that very recently in the drama Luoyang. It is my honest dream, and probably for a lot of people who loves his performance, that one day he will be able to lead a drama or a film that is a musical that will allow us to enjoy his full range of talent of singing and dancing. The other person who also graduated from a musical major from a major university is 别人家的孩子, Zhang Xincheng, the type of good students that your parents always compare you to. Look at him. Why can't you be as good as 
neighbor's kid. He does so well in all kinds of schools he is enrolled in. That's why people call him 学霸 or 别人家的孩子 He graduated from the musical major from Zhongxi Central Academy of Drama, which is one of the two most prominent acting academy in Beijing. He is very skilled. At piano playing, he can dance very, very well. He can perform a level of gymnastics, literally, on stage. When he tried to get enrolled in the universities and that year, he killed all the exams as number one for Beijing Film Academy, who was number one in the exam to get into the acting major. For Central Academy of Drama, he was number one for both majors, acting and musical. For Shanxi, the Shanghai Theatre Academy, he also was number one. In the exam of musical major, and he picked Central Academy's musical major. The kind of too good to be true good student. His English is also pretty fluent, considering that he never actually got educated overseas. And he has expressed his huge interest and dream of Broadway. He even said, if one day he could be a professional Broadway performer, he would give up everything in acting in China because that's his real dream. But who knows? You know, he's still very, very young. Maybe one day he can make his dream come true. Oh, and he's super good at line delivery too. One of the best of his age range. Then we have to talk about Bai Jingting, who got really popular recently. Due to the blow up drama reset, where he played a blown up character multiple times, I think also most of my audiences would be very familiar with this actor. He's actually not that young, but then he appears to be super young. He started to learn piano very early on and got qualified for all kinds of level tests that exist in China. He got enrolled in Shoudu Shifan Dajue, which is the capital normal university. Normal meaning. Teaching that comes from French. His major was actually sound recording. But after he graduated, we all know what happened. He went on a very interesting career route: singing, performing, slightly idol-like, but then not really getting down that route, and then going to acting. He has his own channel on Bilibili, which he really works as a real content creator instead of a celebrity. Just open an account for. No good reason, and he's one of those no bullshit, very straightforward person, very unusual actor. And I'm very happy that he finally got noticed this year by a much wider public due to the success of Reset. Wouldn't it be cool if Zhang Xincheng, Bai Jingting, Huang Xuan could end up in a musical together? Ah, it would be like. Dream come true. We've talked about music. Now let's talk about dance, which is if you single it out, the largest categories of actors and actresses background in China working today. And it's no wonder because when you have the good training in dance, first you probably have taken a huge part of the course of acting out. The physical things, the movement, the postures, the possibilities of your body. And I think even if you are new to Chinese drama, then you probably have heard about quite a few very famous people these days who come from a dancing background. There are two major dancing schools in Beijing that have produced most of the famous dancing background actors and actresses. First, I'm going to mention two people who are not from those schools but also from dancing background. Number one is the incredible actress Zhou Xun, one of the most talented actresses of her generation, or even among multiple generations. My personal goddess of acting of Chinese drama and slash film. She never actually got trained in any acting school. Her middle high school training was actually done in a Zhejiang-based dancing school, where she is majored in folk. Chinese dance before she got discovered as a genius of acting and started to show up in films and in television series and dancing is where she started her career. The other person is the very well-known, very popular actor today, Luo Yunxi, who's from Shanxi Shanghai Theatre Academy, and he majored in ballet. There's still videos online that you can find when he was younger and doing stage performances. He also was a teacher of dancing before he became an actor, and you can tell dancing is so helpful for his stage appearance and his ability to do a lot of fighting on wire. Probably the highest claimed great at wire work young actors today in China, and he has to thank his years of training in dancing for that. Then let's go to Beijing and look at the two major schools that have produced so many huge names. The first school is Junyi, short version that Chinese. People like to use the full title of the school is very, very, very long. So that is the College of Military Culture of 
PLA Defense University. And often for a big drama, for example, Hong Long Meng, when they were looking for young actors, they would go to the school and got all the um, suitable age young people out and look at them one by one, have their name written and their age and hold that and take a photo and then go select the actress and actors. And it happens very often in Junyi and Beiwu, these two schools, Beijing Dance Academy, Beiwu, and Military Culture Defense University, Junyi. Now, let me tell you how many familiar names you're gonna hear from these two schools. First, from Junyi, we have Yang Yang. <laughs> you already know. I think my audiences all know he comes from a dance background, and he was one of the best dancers of his year. I still clearly remember the assistant director talking about how much work they put in to convince him to go and act in Hong Long Meng and kind of change his career path. But for that, he was definitely one of the highest hoped contestant for the highest level of dance competition in China. But apart from Yang Yang coming from Junyi, there are actually many other people who graduated from Junyi. For example, Dong Jie, also from a dance major. And then from other majors of the school, so it has multiple majors, you have Sha Yi. Ying Tao, Yan Ni, plus Xu Lu. She also was selected from the school to the Hong Long Meng drama of 2010. And there are many, many more names. If you really want to look at the stars graduated from this school, the list goes on and on and on. Then to Beiwu, Beijing Dance Academy, the other crazy school that has produced so many famous dancers and actors and actresses. For example, Jing Chen majored in folk dance. We also have Song Qian, who also majored in folk dance before she decided to go on her journey of becoming an idol and later an actress. And she's the type of naturally talented but also very hardworking dancer. When she first got selected and go to dancing, she only went because her family discovered she can naturally just pull her leg up to here and without any effort and pain. Other people struggle and can't get there and she's like, it's nothing. So they were like, since you are so talented, go and learn dancing. And then that started her career. Also majored in Minzu folk dance is the actress Zhang Huiwen. And for the second Nirvana in Fire dramas extra feature videos that's still online, you can see her and Liu Haoren joking about each other's dancing background and dance off on set. Also the very pretty actress Wen Peng that I have a lot of hope for her to become more and more well known in the future. She also graduated from this school and her major was classic Chinese dance. I'm guessing a lot of people didn't know that. Well, now you know. And these are just a couple of names that I've selected that I think most of my audiences are familiar with. There are actually many more, many more actors, actresses from these two schools. So dancing definitely makes up the biggest category of actor and actresses background before they get into acting in Drumland. This is the end of the part one of this video and there's more coming. Thank you for watching Up New X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.